The airline industry is changing. More and more airlines are now phasing out their old gas-guzzling jumbo jets in favor of modern, smaller, and more efficient aircraft. Airlines by the likes of British Airways and KLM have already put retirement plans in place for their 747s, which will gradually be replaced by newer aircraft such as the 787 and the A350. In the short to medium haul market, aircraft such as the 737 MAX and A320neo jets have emerged, offering the same form factor as their predecessors but with greater fuel efficiency. So with this gradual trend towards smaller planes, one question arises. Is there room for another kind of aircraft? Airbus is saying yes, and they're doing so with the new A220 series, or what many of you may remember as the C-series. Now in order to understand the aircraft's place in the industry, we first have to take a brief look at its recent history. If you remember, the company Bombardier, the original manufacturer of the aircraft, was in a desperate situation to lock orders on their new jet upon its release. Their goal was to appeal to the US airlines, a market known for its wide use of smaller regional jets. As an incentive, they offered to sell Delta the aircraft at a fraction of the price, from $80 million to $20 million per unit, an illegal practice known as dumping. What followed was a 300% tariff placed on the C-Series jet, which rendered the program unprofitable in the U.S. market. But then suddenly, in October of last year, Airbus announced that it would be acquiring a 50% stake in the former C-Series program. This meant that the aircraft could be manufactured at their assembly plant in Mobile, Alabama, bypassing the import tariff placed on the Canadian manufacturer, and thus saving the program. Then, in July of this year, the aircraft was renamed to the A220, and it officially became a member of the Airbus fleet. So why is the aircraft so special then? Well, because it represents an area that until now has been untouched in the aviation industry, the market between regional jets and traditional short-haul fleets. With a range of over 6,000 kilometers, it has the ability to reach all major destinations in the US and Europe with one flight, and could even fly transatlantic if it wanted to. At the same time, however, its small size allows it to fly to many regional airports that, say, a 737 could not fly to. Essentially, the aircraft has the best of both worlds, the range of a medium-haul aircraft and the size of a small aircraft. Why is this significant? Well, it's a perfect representation of where the aviation industry is headed. Traditionally, airlines operate using a hub-to-spoke system, where the company operates its aircraft through a major central hub, such as London Heathrow, before branching out to a large number of smaller airports. However, the industry is changing, with airlines such as Norwegian opting for a so-called point-to-point system, where the aircraft flies directly to the destination, without going through a major hub. Such a system does not make sense to be operated by a large aircraft, which is where the A220 could work. I say could because it is too early to tell whether this will, in fact, be the strategy airlines opt for in the future, as the industry is always changing. It is, nonetheless, a possible idea, though. In addition to this, the aircraft has also been praised for its versatility. Airbus advertises the A220 as a great network feeder, which means it could work also well for the airlines that do rely on the traditional hub-to-spoke system. Aside from that, some other advantages of the A220 include its high efficiency, passenger comfort, and easy maintenance. So what do you guys think of the Airbus A220? Do you think it will be a success, or would you say it's not really what the airlines are looking for? It would be great to get a discussion going in the comments below, so if you have any ideas, please don't hesitate to voice them. I always enjoy commenting back on them when I'm able. Anyhow, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all very soon. I'm